Geraldine Yoder knows all about military life. I was in the Navy for just over six years. That's how my husband and I met here in San Diego. That was 11 years ago. She now calls Ramona in San Diego's East County home. Yoder remembers September 11th, 10 years ago, clearly. Pregnant with twins, her husband Nigel, a Navy officer, had deployed the day before. And I saw everything on the news and the planes, you know, crashing into the Twin Towers and people in tears and the firefighters and the tickers just scrolling across the screen. I, I froze. You know, I, with my background being Navy, immediately thought, well, this is going to change a lot of things, and I'm probably not really going to hear from my husband for quite some time. Um, I got lots and lots of phone calls from my husband's siblings and his parents, very, very concerned for him and me being pregnant. Um, and again, I had not heard anything from my husband, and I didn't know when I would hear from him. Yoder eventually heard from him, but feared he wouldn't be home for the birth of their sons, Caleb and Aiden, who are now nine. I ended up having my boy six weeks early, but he still made it home. He ended up being gone for a little over two months. It's kind of like a miracle, too. I mean, you were early, and yet he was still able to make it home. Yes, he was. Wow. Yoder says before 9-11, the average Navy deployment was about four to five months. Today, it's seven months or longer. Because of 9-11, our military deployments, no matter what branch of service, are longer and they're happening more frequent, meaning our sailors are coming home and they may only be home for two, three months and they turn right back around and they'll deploy again on that same ship or with the ground unit that they're attached to. How does that relate to your family? My husband has deployed lots. My boys are now nine. They just turned nine this year. And my husband has deployed five times just since their birth, meaning most of their life he's been gone. He's been attached to a ship, a deployable command, their entire life. He's gone from ship to ship to ship. The needs of the Navy, because of 9-11, um, have changed dramatically. You guys have been doing great since I've been gone. I'm very proud and so too has the life of military families like the Yoders. This is how the family stays in touch today. Nigel records a private video message onto a DVD and mails it to the boys and Geraldine. I want you to know that even though I'm not there, I love you with all my heart. I think about you guys all the time, okay? I don't have to worry about how long it takes for a letter or a card to get home. It's on DVD so we can play it whenever they want and whenever they're missing their father their most. She says the short in and out training cycles are the toughest on the family because you can't plan anything in advance. She also fears how the long separation between deployments will affect the boys. They're getting to the age now where, you know, they definitely need that male role model in their life and they're becoming more active in sports and Boy Scouts, those types of things. So yes, as they continue to grow, it, it is my concern that the needs of our military will continue to be as demanding as they are now. But Yoder remains hopeful. The family's military sacrifice will make us all safer. As we always say, you know, my family uh, bleeds blue and gold, navy blue and gold. Um, I know that, especially, you know, with the capture of Osama bin Laden and the continued progress that our military continues to make, that things will get better.